Hi there folks, welcome to Freestyle Vapes, welcome to the channel again. Uh, tonight I have a review for the Doom RTA, which I've got here on my uh, Drag Platinum. Yeah, it comes in a box like this. What I'll do is, uh, I have a few vapes on it now, uh, I'll give you some of the specs, etc. And we'll go down to have a look at it close up. Show you the wicking, and, and then we'll come back up and I'll give you my final thoughts on it. Here we go. It's nearly empty now anyway, so. Beautiful. So, in the box, we have and it focuses. That's the back if you want to have a look at it, uh, if you want to pause it. Package contents are the RTA uh, mesh coils times two, uh, the mesh jig, uh, extra glass tube, uh, foxtail M cotton, what they put in there. I haven't used that, I'll show you what I use. And then the user manual and spare parts bag. At the top, 3D liquid flow system, uh, sloped upward airflow, and pure tasty flavour, which I don't disagree with. So we'll go down to the table and have a look at it, eh, guys. See you down at the table. Right, guys, here we are down at the table with the Dam Vape Doom RTA or Mesh RTA. Uh, I've showed you the box already up at top. Uh, pretty simple packaging. Slide off. Pull that down, sit down there, and then you get. That's how you get it. But you also get inside the tank is this. I've already taken it out. That's a TPD compliant uh, bung that sits inside the tank you just have to take the tank apart and take that out and we don't use the, need that again uh, so we'll take the tank out this is the stainless steel version and then we've got a mesh coiling tool and spare glass we have a pack of spares and also in that spares pack is the key which I've already taken out for taking the tank apart with uh, you get some mesh, Dan Vape's own mesh. Uh, it is hex mesh and quad mesh, one strip of each. I've already used the quad mesh. Uh, I've still got it here. I've just taken it out for review purposes, and because I'm going to put the hex mesh in now, uh, which is 0 0.13 ohm, and the quad mesh is 0 0.11 ohm. The hex mesh is more like honeycomb. Whereas this is the mesh I've had in for three, three, four days now. It's just, there we go. It's more of a, it's quite, they call it quad, but it's more of a squared off mesh. Uh, well, that's that, put that back. So, we'll need the mesh out, so we'll get the mesh out. I've got a pack of uh, OFRF mesh as well. We'll, we'll take that out. Some mesh. Bump, bump, bump. You do set, you do get some cotton and an instruction manual as well. Uh, the instruction manual is okay. Uh, it's got step by step guides on how to wick it, but it's very very simple. Uh, I'll put that in. I'll put the spares back in the spares pack. You get four. You get some spare O-rings, uh, magic blue screwdriver, spare uh, clamp screws, and also you get, if you can see, here's one one in the corner here, uh, in this corner of the bag here, it's four little silicon plugs, I'll show you what they're for in a minute, you get four spare as well. So, I'll put that to one side. The mesh in, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Right, let's start from the top 810 Goon Style Drip Tip, uh, O ring is on the inside, silicon O ring, that's a frosty clear 510 drip tip, 810 drip tip, top cap, threads of, threads of mint, and it has it's a solid piece of stainless. And you have one O-ring on there, and then you've got the O-ring inside here for the drip tip. That's one side. Base. 
It says Doom on it, CE markings, don't vape in a bin, designed by Dan Vape, and 510, gold plated 510 pin. As you can see, and then the threads are really good. Base, unscrews, some nice kneeling on the base. I'll show you the. Come on. Come on, focus, damn you. There we are. Some nice kneeling on the base. I'll show you all the way around while it's up here. Airflow ring. I'm unscrewing the base now, so we'll take the base off. This is very similar to a uh, steam crave, how how it the deck is. You've got your base there that secures the deck in. Airflow ring comes off, it's got three holes on either side. There we go, it's got three holes on either side. Nice bit of stainless and it does it does does have a stopper on. And then we've got the deck if I can get it out. Sometimes I need a mod to get it out, but I can get it out here. And then you've got your glass and two massive cyclops style or kidney shaped style fill holes with an o-ring on the top to seal on the center tube to seal the top cap on and then inside here you've got two airflow slots one either side and two juice flow slots uh, and then juice flow slots go through from the top you can see that there you can see them there inside here Oh, there on the base of the so obviously with this key we can hold the base here and unscrew and then you can change the glass and take that TPD compliant bung out and then when you put it back together make sure it's you hold the base here and make sure it's tight because when you start taking this off if it's not tight you'll unscrew the top cap off off the tank as well as the top cap so that's that. So put that to one side, put that to one side, and the airflow ring, and the base, and there's some dickhead outside on the bike. So let's show you the deck. Let's go turn autofocus off because it might go in and out, in and out, in and out. So this is the deck. As you can see, we have here uh, on the court on each of the four corners we have these silicon plugs. This helps seal the deck in. And you can see them more over the top here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, you get four spare of them in the in the packet. Now, look too close there, I think. So, we have clamp one, clamp two, grid for the wicking of the center of the cotton. And this is the ingenious part. Or the innovation is it they call it a 3d liquid flow uh, if you see you can see straight through so you you cut your wicks off to the very edge of here when you've got your wick in and you put a couple of straggles of, of wick into this channel you just damn wick it really and then this allows the liquid to feed the ends of the cotton and also the middle of the cotton the center of the cotton here on this grid all the atomizers mesh atomizers have <laughs> where where the liquid could go through the center but it will never ever touch the center of the cotton because uh, from underneath that is because it's not designed to uh, on on the on the unity and uh, the carlin m they share similar decks where they've got a big ceramic spring loaded piece in the center here so there's the the only way it's getting to the liquids getting to the center of the cotton on one of them is by wetting the ends and it traveling across the wick from either side whereas this wets the ends and also the center and i think this is why this deck is so innovative and works flawlessly uh, you've got an o-ring here around the base to seal it as well as the uh, four silicon plugs and what we'll do is i've taken the wick out already the mesh and the wick I'm going to wick it with uh, not laces or anything like that. 
see I've opened up the clamp it only has to be opened up a little bit and you just prise them apart just pull them apart like that and you can put your wet your cut your, your mesh in so what we do is we take the it's just turn auto to focus back on Oop. so we put the mesh around here like so so we've got it like that and it's on it's on there then so it's it comes out like so and then <coughs> excuse me I place it one of the ends in level it up screw it just check it's it's all level and then we can make it tight that's it that's it so that's tight so I've left one end up to open like this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cotton this is how I put my cotton in so what I'm going to do is I, I use cotton bacon prime and I'll start with a full sheet then I'll tell you when, how I do it so that's a full sheet of or a full strip of cotton bacon prime I just halve it and then with this half you'll get four and half again the bit you cut off like that like so and then now you've got you get four pieces out of a strip of cotton bacon prime pop this wick under just get let me autofocus correctly that's it so what I'm doing is this bit that's lifted here I'm placing the wick underneath it very carefully it won't distort the the curvature of the mesh this is how I've done it and then poke it in like so like that make sure it's all all in there like like so and then just put this down and then into the into the other and then you can just clamp it to be very light with it and then clamp it down tighten it up and I, I believe that gives you the right tension like so then what we do is I forgot me me little bodger rude me little poker me little tweezers so I'll just give it a bit of a comb don't need much a bit of a comb out like so because then we're going to cut off right up to that ledge where I showed you bump keep it straight rest your scissors up against the ledge and cut off then all we do then is all I'm doing is I'm going to stick a few straggles of cotton I'll show you when I finished it from the base of where I've cut of the cotton just damn damn the, the, the opening because what I don't want to do is block off the liquid flow underneath the cotton so that's all I'm, that's all I've done 
and I'll do the same on this side. You do it with tweezers or a little, I find it easy with it. And then I just trim off a little bit of this, follow the curvature of the And that's it, that's all you need. So it looks like that. So you can still see through it, and the liquid will still flow through and then up and under. Then get your where's my I'll use I'll use coley. So drip axe coley, I'm just gonna put a bit on it, just get the center started then we place it only goes in one way so you've got your your airflow will match up with your airflow is which is where your clamp is will match up with the airflow ring airflow here and then just ease it in nice and easy you'll see you'll feel it go in there you go and then just push like so but you can as long as if it goes in square you're okay because then you can put your airflow ring back on let's just wet up this o-ring here because i have cleaned it just put a bit of juice on this o-ring here for the airflow ring because that's the only thing that's quite stiff on here there you go looks nice now Three, three holes open, put the base on, boot up tight, fill up, obviously off camera it's quicker than this if I'm being honest, I don't have to close the airflow holes or anything like that, I've not had any leaking on this at all, doing it this way or I've not leaking it all screw the top cap on drip tip and the wet there you are and that's the doom all wicked so like I say we'll go back up to the top and uh, we'll give you our, give you my thoughts see that, that that's that's all there is to the wicking it's really it is really that easy and that's it guys so that's the doom RTA fully wicked up and meshed up so we'll see you up at the top guys hi guys welcome back to the top so I've screwed it onto the drag again it comes out at 0.12 can't really see that from here let me keep it there you go 0 0.12 ohms uh, 62 watts I put it at that's what I like I like it between 60 and 65 watts uh, if you open the third airflow hole up you could uh, you could go to 68 70 watts I like it 62 so here we are, here we go. That is the first vape since I built it. Absolutely fabulous. Now, for me, uh, the build quality is is fine. Uh, the threading and everything is pretty good. Uh, the only issue I have with the, with the machining is the internal machining inside where the deck fits. Uh, apart from that, externally it's it ain't got a mark on it. It's fantastic, really shiny stainless steel. Uh, the glass, the both the glasses are quite thick glasses. Both got uh, the Doom logo on it. Nice drip tip, 810 style, uh, 810 goon style that is because the uh, it hasn't got any O-rings on it. And the only other thing that needs to do altering to it as a con is the airflow ring is really tough to turn uh, in my opinion. The tolerance on it is too strong, 
have to uh, to alter it. I, I mean, I, I set it and forget it really myself. But if you did need to alter it, then you have to take it off. I find anyway uh, to, to alter it. That's three holes open now. So you have to take it off to uh, to alter it, and then the same when you were trying to dial it down. Uh, it's really tough. They're too tough in my opinion so near the o-rings on that need to be uh, a little bit less of a tolerance on but that's the only con for me dead easy build that viaduct style uh, uh, liquid flow liquid that viaduct style deck with the liquid flow flowing underneath and all the liquid touching the center of the uh, make sure you you, do, you only put little straggles of cotton in there uh, in them juice flow holes all you're doing is like a damp wicking but just put a little couple of straggles then there <clears throat> then that that'll wick the ends of the cotton and then the the liquid flows through right the way through with no 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 obstruction uh, and then it'll soak the center of the cotton the way I built that then doesn't distort the mesh in any way whatsoever because all you're doing is you're lifting it up and one side of the uh, mesh is clamped to one one of the clamps so you're not distorting it in the middle or anything that way I find that you know how much cotton's in there if you feel that you, you that you're having to press down too hard to get the the other end of the mesh into the other clamp then you need to take a bit of wicking out just a slight bit more wicking out it needs to just go down nice and then get, have a nice press of the cotton because the thing with mesh is it needs to be touching the cotton at all times or else you start getting uh, strong dry hits dry sometimes you might think that's wicking but it's not it could be that the uh, the, the parts of the mesh are not getting soaked uh, because the cotton's not touching it and you might get some little uh, flashes of if you looked at it down you could see flashes of orange in there that means that you that parts of the mesh is not getting the uh, the, the, the wicking so oops taking it off haven't I back down to 62 I took it off then back on here fantastic As you can see, that is that's phenomenal for a mesh RTA. Uh, just be very careful with the wicking in them channels, like I say, because it, the juice does need to flow through. If you put too much in that channel, there, all you need to do is just dam it and, and straggle a few down, a few strands down. Uh, it won't wick if, you, if you've got too much in, in there because the, there'll be nothing going to the centre because the wick ends will be stopping the juice flowing through that aqueduct and then up up under that grid. So that's the Doom or Mesh RTA. Uh, there, are, there are other Mesh RTAs out there as, as we know. The next book, the next... For me, I, I can't comment on the Kylan M because I've not had it. But for me, anything Mesh-wise at the moment with regards to RDA or RTA, this is the best one I've used uh, period uh, I like the style I like the short you know it's not too long it's quite short so the flavor is very good the the vapor production is very good the airflow is not turbulent at all it's for me it's when if you if you sort of like wide open is 10 it's going to be around about a six and a half seven that's with if you've got three holes open with two i'm, I'm probably pushing about five here so it's a slight restricted direct long long flavor is phenomenal sorry guys i've gone again 
<laughs> but yeah, if you're in the market for a mesh RTA, I know people have rated the car in M, uh, but that's a bit more price. I think that's around about the 35 quid mark, 33 to 35 quid mark. This is around about the 24 to 28 mark, depending on where you get it from. I would go with this, uh, based on just price alone. Uh, I know people like the Carl and M, but if you haven't tried the Doom, got to try the Doom uh, for a mesh RTA. The, the wicking for me and the liquid, the, the innovation is the liquid flow all the way through with no obstruction. Uh, yes, others do that, but they've got an obstruction there from what I've seen anyway. Uh, the Carl and M has, to, has a profile style deck with a ceramic piece in the middle. Of the, in the centre of the cotton, and no, there's no liquid getting to that with that ceramic piece being there. Yes, it'll get around it, underneath and stuff, but it won't. It won't get to the middle of the cotton. With the doom, it gets to the middle of the cotton via that grid and that 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 wire we call a viaduct uh, underneath, and it just flows straight the way through like a sewer all the way around. So all this base underneath here is covered with liquid, soaking that cotton up, which is what you need with a mesh RTA. Thanks for watching, guys. Buy the Doom if you want it, mate. If you want it, really, really good. That's Carl signing out. See you soon, guys.